This is smithy.tv. What's going on? It's JJ Lieberman. You're watching The Meltdown. Uh, somber mood right now because I... T so I'm an actor in the city, whatever. You don't see me because I have a terrible agent. But I just want to... And who cares? She doesn't... <laughs> that's Amish Patel. She don't watch any of this. Because I say... What's she going to do? Uh, drop me from not getting her work? Are you going to mention her name too? No. no. <laughs> that's too so, much, first eh? First of all... Because what happened is, I haven't, because she has a... This uh, is a good test, though. If she doesn't, like, drop you, then you have to drop her. She, so She's to, obviously not watching your podcast. So when you audition, there's a format, like, for you to audition. You have to, you know, the casting agents will, you know, they'll have something, like, you know, that they want people to audition for. Then the agent submits you. But the thing that the agent submits you for, mine, thing, mine has been down for over a week. And I know it. And I'm not telling her about it because i know she's just an evil woman who's not like wow you're shooting yourself in the foot a little bit there okay fine you're not you should evil. have told her you should no you should have told her no you it's your job you should have fired her you should have started looking for you should have told her and start looking for a new it's agent. it's her job don't leave yourself off of the casting workbook for two weeks no it's just make, to make a point to her it's making a point when i got on sportsnet you know they have this congratulation <laughs> booking updates nobody said nothing for me Nobody said congratulations when I was on... Uh, oh, anyways, Amish Patel's here. Hey, everyone. Nobody, and I wanted to do a solo. He was just in the fucking neighborhood. We had such a good... Constantly begging me to be on the podcast. Five Constantly weeks. begging five me to be on the po podcast. Great. I just want to clarify. Constantly begging me to be on the podcast. Anyways, I thought... You, uh, I finally said, you know what? He messaged me today saying, hey, I'm going to be there at five. But he's so passive aggressive. I didn't realize that. See he how was, little I care about what he he's was just right telling now? me. I thought because he wanted me to be like, please let me be on the podcast. I thought and now, that's what he wanted. Do you know how little I care? I thought Ryan had a bag of chips or something that he was reaching for a glass of water. So I looked over while you were ranting about nothing that anybody cares about <laughs> to see what you had. I was like, oh man, maybe he has a I bottle of water. Chips. And, but I, was, I don't have any chips. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it was just, yeah, no chips. Evidently, but there is a beef patty place across the uh, the road from here. Actually, right beside. Right that. beside. I'm gonna go right after this, and then I'm gonna go to Panera Bread and the Raptors. See, I can't even talk about the Raptors because he's a vegetarian. As you know, <laughs> uh, and he doesn't. I'm like a sports. vegetarian, and I happen to not watch sports. They're not related. They're but not. But anyways, Raptors is game. Correlation six. is not they causation. Can win the series tonight. Uh, I said to uh, Jarrett, who was on here before. We are the North, and he's like, it's we the North. I'm like, whatever, dude. Who cares? Stupid fucking phrases. Catch phrases. Anyways, uh, yeah, you know, and I was walking over here. You've been to Dundas Square? Okay, Dundas Square, for those who don't know who aren't from Toronto, is like our shittier version of Times Square. It's just a, a, that people are just in. It's like nothing appealing about it, although they do have festivals every once yeah. in a while that like they have street food and festivals. they do have the cool 420 festival i think that's cool everything else is just a, a, an excuse a lot for of comics it. have performed there i've seen a lot of comics profile pictures of them performing yeah that's Desk cool but of all the other crowd. of the other festival stuff is just an excuse for the cheap families to take their kids to it's like hey we'll take you to dundas square yeah no admission just right no just admission. walk the there cheap, there's people around <laughs> i had a roommate was that just this cheap motherfucker he was so cheap. He's like, hey, you want to go to the festival? I'm like, dude, like every week, that's what he did during the summer. Just to cheat, like just walk around, not spend money. It's good. You can pick up girls there. It's good to just nah, go and meet people and pick up. He's just going there to get entertained because he's we, such What a, we're going to be doing is street videos there. We got to start doing street videos there in the summer and just doing street comedy, street magic, even with Jan, stuff like that. Yeah. That's the place to do it. It's like a big crowd. But I know what you mean. It's like a cheesy version of Fuck, uh, Sorry. My Square. clock stopped again. See, it's so disinteresting what he's talking about. Is it? <laughs> is that the word? Dis thanks, uninteresting or disinteresting? Thank it, it thanks for thanks for like passive aggressively inviting me. Speaking of passive, constantly begging me to be on the show, and then I finally was like, okay, do you want me to come? He basically just said, hey, I'm going to uh, I'm going to meet Ryan at five, and they, obviously it was a passive aggressive invite. I'm like, you want me to come? Yeah, yeah. He was like, now I get here, he's gonna complain about it. It's on great. Wednesday. Uh, I went to do a gig in Ottawa that we we got booked for, and he canceled for no apparent reason. I was shooting a video game. It was five hours there, five Can't hours back. Can't talk about it. Can't talk about it. Five hours in one of the one of the um, one, of, one of the better clubs in Canada. Anyways, do the gig. He canceled. Six hundred dollars a day 
to, to, to be in this video game. Can't talk about which video game. Don't don't mention the company. Okay, I uh, very strict like waivers on that. I don't even Ryan, know, you know what video game. Ryan knows. Yeah, Ryan knows. Uh, no, but the company. Game. I don't even know what video game. The company makes you sign like strict waivers. Uh, I'm not even an actor. I got the role that uh, JJ uh, auditioned for. There you what, go. What did you get? Oh no, I actually did a PlayStation <laughs> commercial once, and I didn't get anything yet. Anyways, um, so I went there and I did set, and you know, f- you know, like f- whatever. Okay, tell them you smashed. No, 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 no. It's Sm- not about tell them. So tell before them. the show, there's some Ottawa comic who is who was in Starbucks, and the person who I went with started chatting up with is chatting him up, and you know, this guy's talking about like how he doesn't do open mics, like he's like. You know when some of this is passive aggressive, like they're dropping like at my level, I don't need to do open mic. Like I don't. Want, first of all, at my level, you have nothing that I want. Like you have nothing. Like he moved from uh, the biggest city in Canada just so he said, "I want more paid work." That's like that's that's like like that's. Are you an artist or are you just a fucking like a paid work? Saying you don't do open mics then, usually means like. So anyways, eh. so after my set, I had a good set, whatever. And I have a very loud, you know, just Google my name. You can see I scream in the mic, whatever. He said in the green room. Kind of like what he's doing now, but anyway, go on. Yeah, but literally like losing it. And he said in the green room, this guy's like, you know, you know, they're talking about comedians. They're like, yeah, but I don't like those comedians who yell on stage. Like, like that's what I say. I was like, you really, like that, uh. is that you fucking nothing? Like, you know, you like a scrubini. That's a word for, like, look it up, scrubini. Like, just a, like this, it's worse than the shit that f- grows between your mouth when your mouth's dry, that white, like, that's, he's lower than that yeah. to me. And I don't ever shit on nobody, but, like, to take a shot at me. Dry in front skin of, crust. Yeah, in front of everyone, I don't like the guy. Like, and then he goes on this stupid, unfunny uh, thing, like, yeah, uh, the guys who uh, try and top out the sound system, I'm sorry, not everyone can write uh, oh. their technical uh, jokes That's on like the paper. guy who said, oh, I don't like low energy, I'm not low energy, or no, no I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not high energy yeah, or something yeah, like that. that because that's I, the other day, some, a comic was telling me that he was uh, middling for someone who was here from, from somewhere else. And the guy said, "Can you not do your like really really high energy bit? Like it kind of throws a crowd." And like he he asked this guy not to do a bit. Like he asked this guy not to, to cut out five minutes from his act. He's like, "Well, you know, my family's gonna be here. Can you not do your five minutes ranting bit? Like, can you yeah. not do that rant?" It's like, dude, the guy's getting laughs, man. At the end of the day, why? See, the problem is, and who I'm not allowed to have a voice because I've only been doing stand up comedy for two years. And that's the other thing. I hate when people. This is what I hate when people tell me like how much time they have. Like someone says to me, they always do. When I got a professional baseball, guys would always tell me like, oh, I should be looking at you. I'm just so used to having like it's you're still like nothing. But he's so self centered. He's a that physical he nothing. He doesn't think like, of anyone. Like how do you have a physical he nothing? He doesn't think of anyone else like, but himself. That's a physical. Okay, so and he I'll just talk wants to you. all the attention. Okay. When yeah. ugh, it's like, ugh, I can't even talk to you. It just throws me off. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, we'll cut that out. Uh, <laughs> When, I'm still here. When, but some of the, so, you know, you. This is why I can't work jobs. Like I was uh, tell even in baseball. True baseball, story. Does not have a job. Baseball. Like day job. I I would, I, I would be some guy who my first year, first two months, they'd come in. They look, look, dude. I, I've got more time than you. I know how it works. Like I'm like, dude. You've been in professional baseball at the lowest level for four and a half years. I wouldn't be telling nobody that. It's like people, you know, they're like excited about the time they haven't. I hate when people use time. Oh yeah, time. Yeah, as opposed oh. to like talent or like what you can actually do right yeah. now. Dude, you I, know, when someone says like, oh, I'm not going to do an open mic. That shouldn't be a question. You should just be booking so much work that you don't have time to well, do it. I don't mics. even. That's care when you stop doing open, open mic. I just care about life. People like this. Is, people would pass me all the time in baseball, and I just go, "Well, there you go." And was, okay, yeah. I'm not going to tell him because he's 19 year old. I see 19 year old in the big leagues. Could you imagine? What though? are you going to say to him? I've yeah. been here longer than you, so I, yeah. I get to go to big leagues first. No way. It no, doesn't it doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. You it doesn't work like that in arts or in sports. Me. I think in. Like other fields, it kind of works, but even there, you can't complain about that. It's just so annoying. I'm looking up. It's just so. I don't even want to say the name. I don't want to say the name. It's just seems so passive. How do you? How can someone it be right for you to insult me in front of my face, in front of other people, and then I can rant about it? I don't even say who he is. He doesn't even watch. I'm not even friends with him. I wouldn't be friends with him. I would just. Ugh, I hate people. Anyways, we're talking about um, Young Dundas Square, and I forget about it. Like, it's just... uh, 
I'm not even in that good mood. Okay, well, okay. bring something yeah. up. Make, yeah. make uh, use of yourself. Jesus Christ, look at this. Like, talk this about, begs me to come. Begs me. Talk about Such uh, a gracious some host. stupid commercial you're doing. Um, uh, getting so paid. Glad Isn't it great you bring someone on? Oh, I have a callback for, uh, for uh, audition. Yeah, you bring someone on, and all they talk about is how much money they're making. I'm not, like, I'm wearing a shirt from 2002. He brings up He's bringing, that I skipped out on the Ottawa gig. And then I have to tell, well, I have to explain to people. Well, why don't you get me on the uh, uh, your stupid I'm commercials? Trying. I'm trying He's to just keep trying. going back myself. I'm back there on Anyways, Thursday. We have a show coming up June fourth. They keep bringing me back. So June fourth, yeah. Show we June have a show. Big show. Uh, one of the best. I, I I would say one of the top comedians in Canada. Yeah, open for Louis C.K. Open for C.K. Oh, Sarah Silverman. Uh, K. Trevor Wilson. He's going to be headlining show. Yep. That is going to be a. a King and Spadina. It's gonna be a great area, great downtown. Right in the heart of like the new club district. Yeah, like that the, new the, like right after in the work heart district. Of the new where everyone lives. Yeah, where everyone cool is. It's like the great thing about that area. Like I can't go down there because no. I'm broke. Like no. they keep away the brokes. But as a comedian, you're like well okay. for the okay. venue, I can go, but I couldn't go there to eat. They no. keep they keep away all the riffraff. They, well, like. the prices are just set so high that we would just be screwed over there. Yeah, but the place we, we like have seriously five dollar pints. Yes, um, the place we have is amazing. Um, so that was gonna be fun. We have a couple, a couple good uh, uh, comedians. I was gonna say actors. Yeah, it's very professional show, very pro show, and um, yeah, it's gonna be an amazing show. Wednesday night, eight o'clock, uh, and it's in the basement of the Firkin. Yeah. So yeah, it's a great like the venue is amazing. I think it can be like a new comedy club over there. Um, Keep they on don't, talking. They I'm don't have anything. Like they don't. They don't really have anything that in that area. Like entertainment wise, and yeah, they, uh, just Second City is a hundred yards away. They don't have anything. They have just nothing. the most notorious. They have nothing over uh, there. Live theater is right down the street where they have nothing. They have nothing that everything was based off of on Saturday Night Live. Just the yeah, most. Yeah, but you notorious, don't want to walk there. Uh, improv comics, uh, Jim Carrey. Eight they o'clock. Have, oh, they have oh, nothing. Five dollar pints. Do they have five dollar pints over there? Wide. I'm sure they do. And it's right beside Wayne. Wing Gretzky's, specials. The greatest hockey player that's Wayne's? right beside there is. It yeah. is right there yeah, too. There the go. greatest hockey player's restaurant ever is right there. They have nothing. No, uh, that's, that's far. Great. That's they not have even nothing. That's a hundred yards away. They have nothing. Oh, five hundred yards. Uh, uh, also, the Air Canada Center and the Rogers Center is about two hundred yards away. But remember, they have I nothing. I don't think. I don't think and, you know how promoting and, works. And I don't think you understand there's a comedy how club. I'm not going to say the name. It's about three hundred yards, but they have nothing. No, but we're and, closer to the. And, we're in the heart. We're in the heart. The CN Tower, right. which we is are, also about It's all about location. They have nothing. We're right in the center of it. Ripley's We're right in the middle of it. Is right no, there no, no, that's too, not that even new. close. Now you're stretching. Okay? Ripley's, believe it or not? Now you're stretching. How far is that from That's there? like a kilometer away. Still, it's close. It's in proximity. Who's going who's gonna to do that after work? You're going to eat and watch sharks? Doesn't doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah, but it's what, I don't know, people. Anyways, it's a, a Wednesday night, which is a good night. Because on be Wednesday night. night, you're going to get to see, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. You, you, you have people who don't like stand-up comedy. It's like uh, you're just. Uh, Who doesn't like stand-up comedy? There are a lot of people. I've I never, I've never met that person. Really? Everyone I know has a comic that they love. No, nah, like has my my sister love? came to our show last time, and she's like, uh, you know, like she's like. Did, don't tell people that. That what? No, because what she's too. No, not at the show. She loved it, but before she's like, she's like a lawyer. She. Oh, know, before our show. Before she, the show. So there no, you go. Sure. Before the show, his sister was like, oh, I don't want to be comp. But after the show, she loved the show. Yeah, yeah. People love the of show. Course. Our show. Our show's that's amazing. That's how people think. Like, it's like my sister, like my sister, like really conservative Jew. I don't know if they have sense of humor. Like, I'm Jewish, but I'm, I'm liberal, like liberal minded Jew. Like, I'm conservative when it comes to women's rights. I feel like uh, Jews are into comedy. <laughs> I feel like Jews are into comedy. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I feel a like Jews, do, maybe, Jews I don't are know. into comedy. I, you know? I see. I, I, can't, I, I take a stand. Like, I feel, no, it's not. You know, there's, are, are you going to take a stand on that? What, what, what no. are you going to say? Okay, Jews are into comedy. <laughs> like, see, I don't know about my people because I'm, I eat bacon. But it's, it's like, but sh- her, like, her group of friends. You know, they just have no real sense of humor. Yeah. What, like, what makes them laugh is not really funny. Like, what makes them laugh is, like, she'll go to a romantic comedy and she'll think that's funny, where there's nothing funny in yeah, a romantic comedy. Yeah, but you com- take those girls out of the romantic comedy. Like, they think they're enjoying it because that's all they're looking at at that moment. Right. If you pull them out and put them in a stand-up room, a stand-up comedy room will make them die. Like, yeah, I don't know. They'll I, hurt. I, 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 they'll I, be in pain laughing. It's, but some people... Whereas the rom-com, it's almost like a different thing. But they, some people like partly, don't like the... The, the truth, like the realness, like the realness of uh, what you talk about. Like you're, you're, when I don't you know. talk about. I think then that's, 
then then it's not funny enough. Yeah, it is funny. You know, some people are uncomfortable with it. No, no it's not always you, funny enough. Got, it's not. That's the the problem. Is it's not funny enough. If you bring like at our show, I'm just saying. I'm just going to mention at our show, a lot of hot button issues were tackled, but they it was so funny that nobody like was like, oh no, oh, I'm not coming back. I'm not, I'm not, I don't whatever. want to host this show anymore. Which one? The one coming up. Our show? Yeah. What's wrong with you? I don't want to host it. But I'll host it. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'll be the host. All right. And right. As How a, could you not want to host it? What's wrong with you? Because I don't know. I want to do like time. I want to do, you know, I, I like. So just open it up with time and then host it. Yeah, but it's so different when you're a host. You can't really, you know, you want to, it's different. So basically I'm hosting. No, we'll figure it out. We'll talk about this. We'll talk about this over beef patties. Uh, but Veggie patties. I don't eat beef. Hindu. Uh, come on, stop touching me. Ugh, you can't see it. I didn't touch you. you I didn't touch I was you. telling the story about when I was I was stripping. I, <laughs> well, that's what happened. I was working as a, a stripper, right? And I was Touch doing it. My dick. I, I was doing it in Washington D.C. And they had like the raised stage. This is ten years ago. Obviously, people are going, "Oh, you're a stripper." I, clearly, I'm not a stripper right now. Although I could make some money. He used to be. I could make money now. But you used to be a stripper. Yeah, I used to be. I used to work when I was uh, 2000. I would go back and forth to Washington, D.C. when I was going to school in Baltimore. And then when I went to school in upstate New York on long weekends, I would go take the... You can't make, like, How's the money for guys? Is it as good as it would be for girls? What? How's the money for men, male strippers? How's what the do money? you mean? How's the money? Well, it depends who your clientele is. Come on. I'm talking about industry-wise. Men or women? Who's making more money? I don't know. I've never danced as a female. I'm sure so. I've seen some of them chicks at the back of the brass rail when you go in the brass rail. Yeah. Some of them got like Hummers. Yeah, but yeah, but I think those magic mic ones, like real Chippendales that dance uh, yeah. uh, at the Rio, they make huge money. Yeah, but I'm saying other than that, it's not good. But anyways, I came back here and there was a club I worked out down, down the street, and fucking Remingtons. Yeah, I worked you worked there. Night, worked there because because in DC, here's a story. I only work one night. Okay. I only work one night. I work in DC. And it was race stage. Nobody can touch you. They can only put money in your fucking sock. Okay. Or the Remington. Not what? your underwear? No, I don't want it. Ugh. I don't want nobody touching me. This guy's a germaphobe. Uh, so I don't like the it. idea of you being a stripper is just amazing. The, but this oh, was, was when when my aunt. But then I was here. It was only guys, right? Yeah. But it's all straight dancers. And so I took a deaf guy up to the private dance. But it's not like private. When you go to Brass Rail, you can, you know, you, they sit. It's, but it's open concept. Listen to the fucking story. Hey, I'm I don't listening. make I don't make that I don't make that face when you talk about being Hindu. Uh, I don't go, Ugh, you're Hindu. Uh, uh. So you're comparing being Hindu to being a male? No, stripper? but I'm really? saying oh, but saying that God. makes you. <laughs> but what do you mean? This. No, but that's, I, I'm not comparing it. But it's insulting. You're not, but it's now insulting. You just it, no, in, I didn't in compare it. Way, you just compared it. No, I'm saying how insulted would you feel? This is who I was. <laughs> a male stripper. Listen. No, you know, I was with you to, uh, for the whole male stripper, but taking the deaf guy up to a private room? What? Well, what? because he couldn't hear the music. I was going to overcharge him for fucking It's not song. about him being deaf. Uh, no. It's about a dude and you in a private no, room. It's listen, messed up. I can communicate with the motherfucker uh, and say, listen, no touch. This is why I said no touching. And I turn around and he put his nose in my ass. Ah! <laughs> And he grunted, <laughs> and he grunted, like, oh, get that was it. That was, I still told that motherfucker, that was five songs, that was $100. How much, 100 bucks? $100. Yeah. Well, so, it was only five minutes. To let, a man, to, met, to let a man sniff your bum. I didn't know. If I and knew, grunt. now I would do, right now, I'm. And, oh, God. He didn't like, like, he didn't like. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. I have no shame. It's gonna come out anyway on stage. Why? Oh. His nose did feel wet, like a puppy's nose. You know, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know where it starts bubbling. How, how did like, it get wet? <laughs> how did his nose get wet? Maybe it was his tongue. Maybe it was. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think it was his time. Because Indians can do that, right? You have long. He was an Indian guy? Uh, yeah, he was an Indian deaf no, guy. you're such a liar. I swear, you're guy. That's liar. why you got. Yeah, hey, can you. You can. T like, t yeah. can't, I thought that was the thing, like, um, Hindus can do it. No, is. kiss. That's You're talking about yeah, fucking kiss. Gene Simmons. Jewish. Gene Simmons. He's Jewish. Jewish. Oh. Uh, yeah, who he's Jewish. What, this, who, <laughs> but doesn't he have a fake he's tongue? Blame Indian people on this. <laughs> doesn't he have a fake tongue? Anyways, no, hold on. Before we go, uh, this woman. Do you know what the problem is? I can't fucking get women now because they're going to hear all them stories, right? Uh, anyways, too bad. Yeah. Uh, this one woman, she just messaged me. She said she, I can't say the show she's on. She's a segment producer. Uh, we were talking about this. This is on Tinder? 
We just talk about. Don't act surprised. I'm saying for the audience, oh, idiot. Yeah, but you're acting like you no. Can this explain. is how you. This is how you do radio. You don't say like. This isn't radio. JJ told me this earlier that it was on a radio, conversation they get on fucking Tinder. Paid. No, no, you but say, you, act, you, you, see, you bring it up conversationally. This is why and then he'll you never be in. funny. So fake. Uh, anyways, T- tell me. No, so where'd you meet her? It's, that's what I mean. Shut it's the like, fuck up and just like say Tinder, scripted, you idiot. Just say it's Tinder. Just say it's Tinder. Uh, okay. It's not, nothing I, is scripted, I, if you can believe it. Yeah. If you can that's why it. they're not even, they're already gone because none of it is scripted. Uh, anyways, she's mess a segment producer. But you like, you can't me. say where? Why not? What's that? No? Oh, okay. Better. That's, that's, not, that's nice. not nice, eh? Right? But you know, the good thing is, if we do say where, maybe they'll sue us and then we'll get more followers. This well, that's right. It's your money. <laughs> well, I don't care. You know, sue yeah, him. We'll uh, his name at uh, Caro Box. Uh, what? Care of Box? What is it? Care of Box? Care of. Care of. P.O. Box. P.O. Box. Okay, anyways, she's a segment producer. It's Clean TV. I said, get me on. She never responded. She didn't respond, and we we're having back Great. and forth. Great. I was like, it's a joke, dummy. That's what, you, that's what I mean. She's like my sister. She don't get a joke. That's the problem. Anyways, we gotta get out of here soon, right? Can, sure. Come, well, sure. Yeah. It's always like when we you say we have an app. We don't get the light. Oh, we have, <laughs> there's no light. There's no light. There's no light. But and, there is an app. And this isn't radio because I'm radio. We we just gotta listen. Listen. Whoever is still watching to this point, share this. This is funny. None of them fucking people you listen to on like CBC or oh, I can't say CBC. I'm saying like the clean shit. Okay, because we have friends. Is that that, gonna get cut out? No, we oh. have friends, I mean, that do yeah. this. But I mean, like, the clean stuff. Because share this. This is funny stuff. Like, the, the people... If you're still here, fucking share it. How, like, they're still getting 100 of you. But share it for me. Like, I have nothing. I have nothing. You can't, like... I, I don't even want the money. I just want, like, three, 400 views an episode. That's like, I'm doing how, all right. How simple... Right. Of course you're doing all right. Because you fucking got um, those commercials that he's not booking. Six hundred. Oh, anyways... <laughs> Oh, I don't even care about Monday being Monday is just broke. a callback. It's just a callback for a commercial. Uh, I don't know if I've booked it yet. But the problem is, though, they're going to, like, typecast you eventually. That's a good thing. Uh, no, I mean, not eventually. It means That's... you're working. See how frustrated I am? It was so funny. This is my life. I mean, it's so depressing. You can't Share even Share do... it and check out... The... Is, is the app ready, Ryan? Yeah. Get the app! Go to the I, iTunes. Yes. iTunes, Google, Google Play? iTunes, iTunes Google, Google, Play app. Google Town, go uh, Google Town. See, I'm tired. I'm hot, tired. I'm hungry. Uh, we go on Smithy TV. The it's so the, some of the stuff is so funny Good that time. you'll see. I haven't seen any of the other guys, but I've heard. Don't we have someone who's on XM Radio? Uh, yes, there are some who are on XM Radio. Yeah, there are people on XM Radio. That's you know I've I done. I see a lot of Katie chats. I always see Katie chats. Yeah, Katie. Videos. She's I actually really like Katie. Um, Brandon, oh, uh, Brandon's apartment. That's my boy, Brandon. He's he got hit by a car. You, 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 how? And hey, you dumb motherfucker. What? <laughs> He's he watches this, so yeah. I could ask him. Respond. How did? Because I asked you. I said, Are you feeling well? You never respond. How do you get? How's he get? I guess it's not gonna be called Brandon's apartment anymore. It's no, gonna be Brandon's called no, bro, Brandon's hospital. <laughs> 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 oh, anyways, I love making fun of people who can't defend themselves. Fuck it. No. <laughs> anyways. Because um, I got hit by a car. And, uh. and he's a stand-up comic. Yeah. Guess you ain't going to be doing stand-up for a while. Boom. Gotcha. Uh, uh, take uh, me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, no. Uh, check out his his show. is actually really entertaining. It's like he's got a great idea. He films it in his, his apartment. Unique. Beautiful. We're just in a studio yes. with... Um, <laughs> Pseudo untalented. That's guests. how I do my show too. Don't knock my studio. No, I'm saying I enjoy being the studio. Hey, I was knocking the guest I had. No, well, you're I actually begged more. for this too. Can you he believe? He begged for this. I begged for I no. Wish my camera was working. I beg. See, we had a camera set up. Anyways, guys, um, they're fine. Hey, you know, we always come back next week. We're actually gonna bring in. Uh, uh, we're just still trying to get Danny. This is Danny's. He's B list, C list. Wow. B list is like wow. um, begging, begging me to come do this. Anyways, You're so welcome. Uh, follow him on Twitter. YouTube. Amish Unleashed. You don't have on Twitter? I do have Twitter, but... How many followers do you have on Twitter? Twitter? Like, I don't know, 800? <laughs> Come on. 
So say the real number. No, it is. It How is. much to say the real number that it's our show our My, show has? Fa- fa- uh, Facebook.com slash Fade to Brown has 1,360. 1,300. All right. Uh, Facebook.com slash Fade to Brown. If, oh, Google my name. Watch some. You know, I, I'm somewhat funny sometimes. Uh, follow me on Twitter at the real Lieberman. You don't have to. I don't even tweet. I can't tweet because oh, what the fuck? It's 140. K- who talks in that like short amount of time? People write jokes. Oh, funny joke. Fuck that, man. Anyways, I'm not gonna tweet. I'm gonna tweet when I have shows and when I produce this. I'm not gonna make funny, stupid jokes on Twitter to appeal. Uh, no, no, no. Anyways, I'm JJ Lieberman. We'll see you next week. Oh, the last show didn't. I haven't tweeted yet. Okay, we're out of here.